Everybody was very nervous about Clark when this place was being put up, bearing in mind what had happened the first time around. So if you come to the Play of the Theatre today, oh, well, if you come to the Play of the Theatre today, um, you could be part of a groundling audience of 600, I think we're alive now, and the groundlings still stand, and when it rains, they get wet, and we never cancel them before. That's part of the deal of coming here. Um, or you could be part of a gallery three galleries of a thousand rather than two thousand. And all the differences between Shakespeare's globe and our rebuilt globe have been thrust upon us very unwillingly, I have to say, by the health and safety law, by the fire brigade. So just let me whiz through them and tell you what they are. The door that we came in by over there would have existed. It was called the Ingressus, but it would have been half the width of that one. Likewise, it's equivalent on your place, I said, was in London. But that was the end of globe one. That theatre where so many of Shakespeare's plays had been premiered. Now, Globe 2 was up and running by the following summer of 1614. And Globe 2 was more or less the same as Globe 1, except, surprise, surprise, the roof was made of tiles, not thatch. And Globe 2 lasted until those disagreeable old Puritans in London. To use it, you have to turn them on the machine called the pole you puck with your feet. And she made 300, and then what happened? Did she get bored? Did we run out of money? But it's something that frequently happened, may I tell you, how this place. 